I've had to record this video multiple times now. For two reasons. One, I keep getting interrupted, maybe from a ping or something else. Or two, I keep phrasing this video wrong. I don't have a script for this video. I never have scripts for any videos. Um, but yeah, I feel like I keep either saying it wrong and phrasing it poorly in a way that frames people bad. And I'm not here to do that. I'm not here to blame people or start arguments. I'm just here to state the facts as they were, tell you what happened, what's going to happen now, and yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be discussing the situation with how my Discord server got aid. Um, there's also some Arsenal footage in the background for you to enjoy while I talk about this, so feel free to uh, enjoy that. But uh, yeah, before we begin, don't forget to uh, like the video if you enjoyed, comment if you have any game recommendations or video suggestions, and subscribe so you get notified when I make more videos. Speaking of which, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, um, and that's because I've been working on a video for a very long time, um, and that normally would probably be coming out this weekend, but it won't be because I'm uploading this. And I wanted to get this out as quickly as possible because I wanted to address this situation before there was any other further confusion. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So yeah, what happened with my Discord server uh, and where are we going from here? So essentially two nights ago, which is the 22nd, I'm recording this video on the 24th of April and I'll likely be uploading it today as well. But uh, two nights ago, I banned a user, uh, Ripe Skull. Some of you may know him. I banned him from my Discord server for posting Nazi-related messages, which is obviously against the rules. And it kind of sucked because he was a relatively active member in the server. But I mean, what choice do you have when someone is breaking the rules um, and saying messages like that? So I banned him. Um, and again, it sucked, but I just I had to move on, so I did. And then the next day. I got uh, I got pinged by none other than Ripe Skull, <laughs> and he was asking why he had been been banned, and I asked, "Why are you unbanned?" And then I immediately banned him again, and it turns out that Mushroom, uh, Mushroom Elite, one of my mods, uh, friends, and uh, you know you may you may know him from his YouTube videos as well, um, had unbanned him, and I said why, and he said he kept spamming me to unban him, and I said just block him, and he said it's not that easy. We're close friends and i was like oh well this just complicates things and it sucks it really does because i mean what are you gonna do when your friend is asking you to be un to be unbanned you can't block him right so i and i and i understood mushroom's perspective and i felt bad but i told him that there's that there's literally nothing you can do bro you gotta you just gotta keep him banned i'm so sorry um and so uh about an hour later i got messaged by uh none other than than gamer uh, 4713, some of you may know him from his YouTube channel as well, good friend of mine from, uh, Grenz, and, uh, he was asking if he had been banned from my Discord server, and I was like, um, not that I know of, let me check, and it, and I go to the ban logs, and sure enough, Gamer was banned, I was like, huh, that's strange, so I unbanned Gamer, and I was like, sorry, I don't know why that happened, um, and he was like, all good, and then I went back to the Discord server, and I was in such a rush to unban Gamer and see if he was, un if he was see if he was banned, that I didn't even realize that the entire server had been destroyed. And it dawned on me that it had. It had been AA'd. All the text channels, all the voice channels were gone. Every single user had been banned, except for uh, me, Roberto, and the other mods, because of course we're the same, uh, we're above them in terms of the roles in the server. And every other role had been deleted as well. And so the entire server was basically destroyed. There were only like five channels left, um, like text channels and stuff. And so, uh, I was I was in a bit of shock. I was I was like, wow, that really happened. And I check out at log, and sure enough, it was uh, it was mushroom and ripe skull. And I scrolled all the way down past like a hundred mes plus messages of de banned users, deleted messages, uh, deleted uh, what's it called? Deleted uh, channels and uh, s roles and such. And I found that uh, mushroom had unbanned ripe skull had uh what's it called had made him a moderator role gave him the moderator mo role and then they together destroyed the entire server together and you know it, it was it was weird because i almost felt i guess betrayed i don't want to make it sound too dramatic but because because I, I trusted mushroom that's why i made him a mod i thought he was a good friend um and i i respected him you know and then here here he was he he just destroyed everything and so i 
I didn't take screenshots of auto log, which looking back was dumb of me, um, because I deleted the server, because there's literally nothing left to salvage. We're going to be making a new one, of course. Um, I'll more on that later in the video, but I do have proof, though. Uh, it's a confession from Ripe School. I'll put it on the screen right now if you want to see it. But, um, yeah, essentially, entire server got AA'd by Ripe School and Mushroom. And, uh, yeah. At the end of the day, though, I kind of have to move on. There's nothing I can do now about it. Um, we're obviously going to be making a new Discord server. Um, and believe me, we are right now. And we're going to be putting a lot more work into making sure it's secure and safe. And that, uh, what's it called? That this can't happen. We'll obviously have to put more work in our uh, selection for mods. As well as uh, limit the power that moderators have. Because clearly we don't want this to happen again. And we have to build on that. I mean, at the end of the day, again, there's nothing we can do. You can just improve and do better. Um, and so I'd like to apologize, formally, uh, to the 225 to 250 users that were in that Discord server uh, for that happening. Um, and it really sucks for three reasons. One, uh, there was someone actively boosting the server at that time, meaning they were paying money, and it essentially got wasted. Two, I'm going to have users all constantly DMing for me for like the rest of my life asking uh, what happened to my Discord server because they uh, they clearly haven't seen this video and they don't know what happened and so they're going to DM me like, hey, what happened to the Discord server? Um, and I'll have to uh, explain the entire story or maybe I can just send them this video. We'll see. Um, but it'll be annoying because I'll always get those DMs and I'll have to explain the whole situation. Um, and three. It's just all around a sucky situation. I lost a Discord server with 225 to 250 people. Um, and I lost <laughs> a year's worth of memories. Um, which kind of sucks, you know. But we are obviously making a new one. It's going to be uh, more, much more, you know, secure. Um, and it also presents an opportunity to improve uh, not only just in the security and stuff on the server. But the server in general. I felt like there were a lot of stuff that I wanted to fix in the Discord server, but if I wanted to fix it, it would require like me to shut down the server temporarily so I could fix all those issues, and I just didn't have the time for that. Um, and I didn't want to have to do that, so I guess now it's kind of like a hard restart, you know, a hard reset, and I can, I can do all that stuff now in the new server. So yeah, uh, all in all, Mushroom and Ripe School A in my server. And I don't know if uh, Mushroom did this in anticipation, of doing this, if he did this after realizing what would happen, or if he did this a long time ago, uh, and it's completely unrelated, but Mushroom has, uh, either deleted or made all his videos private, um, on his channel, and I'm honestly kind of glad, though, because I didn't want users from my channel going over to his channel and posting hate comments and on all his videos, because, I mean, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to have my audience being that type of people. And please don't be those t kinds of people. Please don't be the type of people who are willing to do that because it's not worth it. Don't go to Mushroom's DMs and tell him how much you hate him because <laughs> as, as much as I'm mad at him for doing it, there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to learn to move on. So yeah, we're already working on the new Discord server, believe me. Uh, we're trying to get that, that out as quickly as we can while also ensuring that it is, you know protected and safe and better than the old one but um in the meantime there is no Disc discord server for uh the elk knows youtube channel but we will get that uh out as soon as we can um and i'm gonna have to go back on all of my videos and actually change the link in every single video in the description but it shouldn't take too long um but yeah i think that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching um hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like don't forget to comment if you have any game recommendations or video suggestions Subscribe so you get notified when I make more videos. Again, that new video should be coming uh, maybe a week or two from now. Um, and again, do not uh, send hateful messages uh, to Mushroom or Ripe Skull. Um, they don't deserve it as, as, what's it called, as mad as you may be at them. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.